So here it is. We'll be building an enclosed raised garden, and this will keep the deer and uh, most other critters out, rabbits and things like that. And I designed this thing in SketchUp. Um, pretty simple, you know, just a gate and uh, and some fencing material. And it's made with 4x4s, 2x4s, and some corrugated metal. This will be 12 feet by 12 feet. Um, each of these little sections here is about three feet deep, so we can reach it all from one side. And uh, again, I designed this in SketchUp. I'll put a link to that down in the comments section. So let's get started. So this is the location we chose for the raised garden. It's a nice flat piece of ground, so this shouldn't take too much digging to get it leveled up where we need it. I've got each corner marked with a ribbon and then I've run lines all the way around just to see what the difference is as far as the, uh, the height on this thing for our grade and just used a, a little bubble level on the string to make sure I got this all right. So Sharon's just getting started on this and going the easy route, just rolling it on. Wow. There are 17 of these 4x4s, four 14-foot four 2x4s, and probably 20 or so 2x4s, 8-footers, uh, that all need to be stained and then those can be assembled.
So let's get started. I've got the base relatively level and flat. So what we'll do is we're going to start by just taking and creating a perimeter of these treated 2x4s. We'll set those down and then I'll get the vertical post up to those uh, sitting right on top. I, I'm not sinking the vertical post in the ground because I just don't need to. The dirt itself is going to be enough to hold them in place and if I need to anchor the base at all I may drill holes and drive some rebar down into the ground just to make sure that that those don't move around. So let's get started. That's the end of our construction for today. We've got three sides up, and this last one is the side that's got the gate in it. So this will be probably a little easier to do. A few more pieces, but uh, less stuff to wrangle with. Um, so far, it's all level and plumb, and it's actually working out pretty good. So we'll get back at it tomorrow. pocket holes to attach these from the underside so I'll take the worst side choose that as the underside Of that pocket hole. So as soon 
it goes right in through there, comes out the end and attaches it. It's basically a hidden fastener. Here's what the screws look like. Right there, they got a big wide head on them. They drop on through. Okay. I think all you YouTube fans should weigh in about whether or not he should keep his hair long after this pandemic is over. I, for one, love long hair. But I'm willing to be open-minded and listen to your feedback. Thank you. So in the spirit of equal time, I'd like to offer my counterpoint. Look at this mop. I haven't cut my hair since November. I was way overdue. And then when I was ready to go get a haircut, they shut them all down. So leave a comment. Vote if you like. Let's make a decision on what to do about this hair. All right, I've got a little more done today. I've got the wall with the uh, gate. You can see right here is where the gate will go. That's where we can go through to get in there. And we laid out really the top the top of the bed so there will be corrugated metal in here and then we'll fill that in with dirt on the inside and we started laying this out have nothing is attached but we just started laying out where the the inside portion will go so i need to continue working on that and then the other thing that we wanted to do was Put some bracing in so we cut a bunch of corner braces from some leftovers and we will be putting those in all of the corners down here and up here once I get those in then we can take all of these braces off but right now it's pretty solid that. Okay. Okay, here we go. I had a suggestion, but it's okay. It's gonna be fine.
right, we really got at it this afternoon. We finished up that inside structure, that little short wall, and then moved on to tin. Started putting our galvanized on. We got it on three of the outside sides. We just have to finish up the side with the gate, and then we started with one of the long pieces. I'll show you where you're going to see it, the visible part. Got that on the inside. So when this is all done, when this outside or the inside part there, you won't see. That'll be behind the dirt. What you will see is this face. It's turned out great. We're pretty happy with it. And so far, not a lot of waste. This is what uh, what's left from our cutoffs. And it looks like we're going to have enough to finish the job. So that was that was the, the main concern. And uh, cutting this is pretty easy. I've got, uh, well, I went through an abrasive wheel on my skill saw pretty fast. Um, and then I switched over and I had, a, I had a diamond blade that I had used for doing some concrete work. And uh, that seems to be working pretty well. So I think we'll stick with that. Tomorrow we'll, uh, we'll finish this part. Okay, we're all done putting our tin on. Got it all the way around. We also got the center structure up and covered. So as you come through the gate, plenty of room to reach all of this. So what's next? Now we're going to take these piles of dirt and sod and we'll put that in as our bottom layer and then we've got some ash from the fireplace we'll put in and then once we're done with that we'll see how much dirt we need and we'll mix some compost to finish that off so I still need to make the gate I'm gonna hold off until we get this dirt pile out of the way and then the last thing after everything's been filled then we'll put the fencing material up here to keep the deer out and then we'll be done. We're going to start by throwing a bunch of wood in the bottom just to take up space. These will rot over time and hopefully just provide a little bit of nutrient. The uh, township had somebody come through and clean up both sides of the dirt road and they cut some trees on our property and just left the logs so I ran out this morning and grab those and we'll just drop these inside now. We got our first few layers of material in here. We're probably about half full on this now. And uh, you saw this, we started with logs, filled those in on the bottom, and then some of the some of the sod that we had dug up, we, we kind of laid that in there. Actually, we laid the sod in first because uh, I, I knew it would uh, it, it would probably create voids if we put it on top of the logs 
Um, but anyway, then the logs and then kind of a combination of some gravel and some dirt that we had that I had to excavate out just to get this leveled. So we're well on our way. Now we just need to get some good topsoil, mix in some compost, backfill that, and we will be ready to go and get the gate on. Today I just dug out a little flat there so that gate would swing. So the gate's on. I'll pick up a latch tomorrow for it. Right now we've just got it tied shut. But we're well on our way. done all the fencing is up the gate is on dirt is in uh, 
nothing left to do but plant and I think we'll try to do that tomorrow morning.